I love that. Like first touching on the trust. I think that's such a key component that some managers forget when they get into management because I think that they see it almost as like a parent-child relationship. I'm the authority, therefore you must respect me. And the trust hasn't been built for that. And so I so appreciate you saying that. But also, you know, taking the time to get to know your people, understand who they are, to build that trust, to then be able to provide some of that feedback, right? The positive feedback and the negative feedback. I think that's so, that's so important. And I think sometimes as managers, like you, you hit it on the head. There's this. I I'm I want everybody to like me. You know, I don't want to be the manager that everybody hates and talks about and all of that. But at the same time, you still have a job to do as a manager. And I think even the employees that don't take that feedback well as a manager, that's such an opening for a conversation of what's missing in our relationship that we need to build, right? Do you feel like that that's something that you know, resonates with you that you would be able to have that conversation? Oh, yeah. And I've had direct reports that there is that safe component where they understand that I'm sharing feedback for their good and for their development. But if I were to be brutally honest here, I've had direct reports that didn't, we, we didn't have that level of trust. Ultimately, what it comes down to, though, is sharing your intent, sharing your why and saying, I want there to be trust. I recognize there's not the level of trust that we both would like, but I still have this feedback to share. And all I can do is do my best in sharing, like I said, my intent and my why. Ultimately, it is up to them if they'll receive it as intended. Um, I can't control that. And that was uncomfortable at first for me to think, well, but I want to fix that. I want them to (laughs) trust me. I want to make them. So at, at the end of the day, though, they have a say. And if they're going to receive the feedback and they have a say, if they're going to trust you and, you know, to their credit, you know, they're, it's fair sometimes for them to have a certain level of distrust. I I can appreciate that. But um, yeah, so you just, you, you do make the steps. You, you show that you're wanting to, to have that. So you can have that open dialogue. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's up to them if they receive it that way or not. And sometimes you're just not going to get along. I mean, that's yeah. that's human nature. You know, sometimes it's just not a good fit. And that's okay. You know, people really take a lot of things personally. And it's like, sometimes we're just not going to get along. Our personalities aren't right. going to mesh. Our styles aren't going to mesh. And, you know, that's okay. You just have to learn how to work. Absolutely. You're right. 